to vlog once again once in a while okay so last time we talked i think i told you guys about this new shampoo that i was trying and it was the alva shampoo and it comes in a yellow bottle but anyways an update about that shampoo it has really changed my hair like it doesn't get freezy anymore after i shower unless i sleep with my hair wet that's obviously gonna make it greasy but anyways um so after i shower my hair well, after I wash my hair, it doesn't, like, make it freezy. So that's been really nice. And it, like, I don't know, it feels like it's fuller. And it gives it more volume, as you can see, um, right after the wash. And then I think I can make my hair last for three days. Going towards the fourth day, it starts to get a little greasy. And it's harder to wash it because you know how I mentioned it doesn't really get a soapy. So that's the only thing that I don't like about it. I feel like I have to use a lot of pumps of the shampoo in order to get my hair cleaned. But I think it works really good. And also, I forgot to mention last time that if you really don't like certain smells, you are not going to like this shampoo because this one has a funny smell. Like even to me, when I first started using it, I was like, oh my gosh, what is this? Why am I using this? I was about to just like stop using it but I was like no I gotta try it out and I don't know I think I've been getting used to the smell and it doesn't really bother me anymore but if you're sensitive to smells then I don't recommend it for you at all. Try something else because this one's not it. <laughs> so I decided to shove all of my snacks in this little box. It looks all right. So I wanted to show you my plants. Look at this one. It's so cute. And it's been doing really great. And then there's this one that I recently got. So I'm trying to propagate it. I think it's an English ivy. But they're like really small leaves. So I don't know which kind exactly. I know there's multiple different ones. There's this one. Um, I just got it two days ago so we'll see how it goes i've also had some plants in the backyard that are growing and i wanted to show you some of them so here we go look they're finally growing so i have some basil um i think this is i don't know what the other two are but i know i definitely planted birch basil and i think it's parsley I don't know what this one is and I don't recognize it either. This has been such easier and a game changer like putting s some water under here so that it just like sucks the water up. I don't have to go out there and water, th water them every time they're dry because it just like soaks the water up and it also prevents it from like over watering it or under watering it so do that if you can and that was one of our baking trays that i put on there i was like eh, uh, uh. i just used it because i was like i'll just buy another one i hope this one's cheap i hope it was cheap but it's been working out great now i'm just gonna do some dishes because this needs to get done I have honestly never recorded myself doing the dishes and it's not like I'm just doing it because I'm recording myself I always do the dishes but it just feels weird, you know? Oh my gosh, you guys, these we have these Tupperwares I don't know if you can see it that good but they are so cute like the design is really cute and I just can't believe they're Tupperwares, you know? And I think I saw some similar ones Urban Outfitters that are like, they sell them individually and I'm like, eh, that's a little too crazy. But, um, we got these at Costco, I believe. The only thing I don't like about the kitchen is that like, since it's in the center, which I absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> oh. I absolutely love that the kitchen is on the center, but there's no windows here, so it gets dark. Like, I don't know, sometimes it looks, the lighting looks good during the day um, if we get like lighting through out there. But that's still kind of far, 
so usually we have to have the lights on and I think I'm gonna sweep the floor I feel like you guys haven't seen me like do housework so enjoy and no I'm not just doing it for the video I actually do housework once in a while <laughs> oh, Vera's like no Have you guys seen that TikTok challenge where it goes? And then you go like this. This one doesn't work. Huh? It almost worked. On today's episode of Cooking with Miguelie, <laughs> we have a guest named Piero. What do I say? You're not even pointing the camera in my direction. <laughs> <laughs> You're pointing it like this. <laughs> hey! <laughs> There's some. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? Are you a good chef? I didn't want to do this. Then why are you doing it? Moving on. Anyways, he's gonna attempt to make some cauliflower fried rice. One medium head about. So here he goes. And the time is starting. You have 10 minutes to get your things. Wait, then what? 30 minutes to cook. And what? it will be presentation time. What about cooking? <laughs> After the 10 minutes, you'll have. I'll this give you. 10, 20 minutes. I'll give you 40 minutes. He is on a rush, he's sweating, he is racing for his life. So these are the ingredients he's gonna need. Some cauliflower, carrots, eggs, and peas. Cooking spray. Sesame seed oil. Salt. Meal. So we're gonna use some granulated garlic. And soy sauce. lastly, what every fried rice needs, a little bit of soy sauce. Now you need to Peel this and dice it. I never ever diced the carrot before. What did you do? I put it right here. How did it fall? Is it okay? I don't know. You guys. I came over here to talk a little because the TV is on over there and everything but my camera fell and we realized the lens doesn't zoom in anymore I don't even know if it's all the way zoomed out is it focusing? and it obviously takes a while to focus that but I also had an accident <laughs> I cut my finger trying to yeah, clean <laughs> that's that's all the update. We're still cooking. Okay, so we are going to use the Ninja Blender. And I'm going to help my little brother by chopping up the cauliflower, which my mom is also helping. So Pedro is currently peeling, and they're going to be peeled in three, two, one. And then I got to cut the ends off. Right there, yeah. Try not to waste a lot there. And now you are gonna dice it up. How do you do that? Since Piero's new at this, he's probably gonna be making a mess. But it's okay. It's okay, we'll forgive him. Okay, now focus on here. I'm gonna show him how I dice. First, you cut it in half. There's probably multiple ways of doing this. This is just the easiest for me. Why are you doing the smallest one and giving me the biggest one? Because I have to do the big one. So what did you do there? So you just slice it into so rice. Long rice. Okay. Whatever. And then you're it's just gonna dice. cut it. <laughs> you look really chunky. I'm gonna judge you on every little bit because you bullied me. 
Look at how thick that is. Look at Stop that. Stop it, I'm working Look on at it. That. <laughs> then you keep on slicing it until you get your desired thickness. Thick. With three C's. Look at how thick that piece is. You see that? That top piece is so big. How else am I going to put this in your mouth? It's too big. I don't care, piano. Right here. Oops. Just be careful because it's hard. Start from the thick side. With three C's. Now look at that technique. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's a triangle. Look at this. That looks good. So I was about to use that one because we don't really use our ninja blender. But I need I needed this one to chop up the cauliflower. I was like, I hope I don't make a smoothie. And I almost did. Okay, you guys. Here is the chopping. We don't want it too grainy, so let's see. Wow, I'm so good at this. I chopped all of that myself. That looks good. Okay, so Piero is gonna learn how to dice onions and see if he cries. <laughs> and I think we just need one fourth, so okay. I think you gotta remove like Two layers. Here? Do I cut here? Yeah. I think I ruined it the way I told it to cut it. I'll do it. I think you're gonna struggle with this. Can I still press? Let's just put a little bit. Do I have to move it? So we're gonna add our meat first. Okay. He's seasoned it with salt already, and now he's putting pepper. Add the pepper to the... What, what meat is this? <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> yeah. Some kind of sirloin. Just kidding, I don't know. And then what you do is you grab this wooden thing. He's going to I ain't gonna lie, but I don't care. Then you stir the meat everywhere, whatever this is. As you can see right there, there's a couple spots that are already getting brown, which means that they're cooked. So right now we're adding the cauliflower. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know where we were last time. I think you missed us adding the carrots. Yep. And more onions. And we added the peas, which are all glued together. Are they going to not be like that? Or? Okay, well, it's hard to record and cook, but this is the finished result. Last time we recorded, I think we were adding cauliflower, and then we stirred it for a few minutes, and we kept on adding vegetable oil so that it fries. We added a little bit more of sesame oil, and... A bajillion more pieces of salt. Yep. Salt. Don't forget to add salt throughout your cooking, especially at the start when you're doing the meat. And then we finished off with the egg. So first we beat the egg and then added salt onto it and then put it on here and stir it all around. And then we finished it with soy sauce. The finished result. Try it. It's hot. <laughs> so. What's the verdict? I mean, it came up better than I was expecting. Thumbs up. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. So as I was editing this video, I realized I haven't done an outro. And I need to get used to doing an outro or like remind myself to do an outro because i haven't i don't always do it but i should so thank you all for watching and just to let you know the fried rice it was all right maybe i we just need to practice it a little more so we can make it like crispier or something like that it wasn't the best i guess out of five we would give it well i would give it like a three three or a 3.5 it wasn't also the worst but it wasn't the best and 
that is it so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it i guess just comment down below why you didn't like it and don't forget to subscribe and click the little notification bell to find out when new videos comes out and i'll see you all in the next video bye